wondered what would happen if we went into a worldwide apocalypse. Well, to prepare ourselves for that, I thought in today's video, I'm going to be building an underground bunker in Blocksburg. This bunker will include its own energy source, food and water supply, a living space, research and infirmary, a repair bay in case the bunker shuts down, and of course, the living quarters. So let's get into it. This is so dramatic. Why did I make it start thundering? <laughs> I'm gonna name this Carl. Get in the bunker. Carl. Carl. Also, I've thought of something. To make this bunker indestructible, the whole thing is literally gonna be made out of concrete. The more I think about it, I think I wanna do like a two story bunker. And the only way we're gonna be able to do a two story bunker is if I make this on top of a mountain. Because if you guys didn't watch my underground house video, obviously the house was built in a basement. Except the only problem with this is that we can only make it one story. So if I want this bunker to be like two stories big. We need to build up first. So yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, was I just a really weird kid or did anyone else like wish they lived in an underground bunker as a kid? Like I'd watch all these zombie apocalypse movies and I'd be like, damn, I wanna live under there. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Even though it's me, I'd probably last like two minutes. Okay, now we obviously need a way to actually get up into this mountain. <laughs> now, before I put the roof on the top of the bunker, I need to actually map out where this thing is gonna go. You know what? I think as soon as you walk in, we'll make it lead straight into the research and infirmary. And I guess near that, we can also have the monitor station. Kind of what I've done in my underground house, if you haven't watched that video. Okay, sleeping quarters can go here on the left. And then if we go down one more level, I reckon this would be the perfect place to have all of the food. Because I mean, obviously you're in a bunker. You're gonna need food. And I'm not sure why, but in most of the bunkers that I was researching, they didn't have any bathrooms. So, sorry, but we're having a bathroom in our bunker. And then obviously on the last floor, which is going to be the basement, we're gonna have the generator. Just in case the bunker goes like RIP later, we are obviously gonna have an underground pool right here with our own living room because we're just fancy like that. I actually don't even know if you can have a pool in the basement. Let's hope you can. Okay, so now that that's the layout of my bunker, I can finally start decorating this thing. Starting with covering up the roof because um right now everyone can see our bunker it's a little bit awkward okay i'm pretty sure they're called hatches right they are they're called hatches what the heck i've never used that in my life actually no that is way too small for the entryway i think they're called uh cellar ah boom 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 shaka they're called cellar doors. Okay, the entryway is obviously gonna be a cellar door made out of the toughest metal in all of Luxburg. I want this to be very unwelcoming. Like people come here and they're like, oh, I should probably not go near that bunker with the amount of red lights going on. But we're even gonna put caution tape. We're gonna scare people. Like get out of my bunker. This is my bunker. No one is allowed here. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the entryway. I mean, you know what? We're gonna go full hardcore style. Make everyone use ladders. Like, we're gonna have to do a full workout to actually get to the bottom of the bunker. <laughs> and fine, I'll be nice as well and add stairs. Okay, that seems pretty safe, I think. Just don't fall off, because you will die, but... It's fine, because no one's gonna die. <laughs> So as soon as you come down into the bunker, I want each of the rooms to have a pretty big like vault door. As in vault door, I literally just mean two commercial double doors like this. And that way, if someone's trying to come in here and they're not welcomed in my bunker, let's just say they won't be in here for long, if you know what I mean. XOXO. Now usually, don't get me wrong, I'm like, I hate spooky, eerie lighting. But in a bunker like this, I feel like it's necessary. So as soon as we walk through the doors on the first floor, we have the research and infirmary. So all like our first aid, our research, for example, if there's a zombie apocalypse. This can be like the room where we research all the cures. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, I don't even think I would try to survive, to be honest. Like I watch zombie apocalypse stuff and they will try it so hard to survive. And I'm just like, yo, what's the point? Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. We need green in here. I feel like every science lab always has green counters. We literally go look up a science lab, it'll have something green. Mm, what else do we have in science lab? Oh, we can make this table like interactive. So like a bunch of research papers on the table. Okay, hear me out. We don't have science equipment in the game, but hey, we have fragrance sprays and it's fine. Shh, if anyone asks, no, it's not the Ariana Grande cloud perfume. It is very important lab equipment. Yeah, watch out, Bjorn I, the science guy. I'm coming for your career. Also, I figured out what we're doing for the lighting. These industrial shield wall lamps tell me they don't look like perfect bunker lighting you can also just store like a bunch of barrels everywhere i don't know guys bunkers have random stuff now we're also gonna fill up these cabinets and you're probably like what are we gonna fill them up with lights i feel like if we put light boxes in here it would just look so cool and i stand corrected it looks amazing and it wouldn't be a research and infirmary lab without these really ugly disgusting creepy looking 
books and our little science stool. So I think that's everything we need in the research and infirmary room. It's a bit messy, but I mean, that is the whole point. So now that this room is done, I reckon we can start working on our security room. This is where I go to spy on people, just in case people are misbehaving in my bunker. What? You know how I was like, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I'd probably give up. That would only be true if the zombies were from The Last of Us. Have you seen the zombies from The Last of Us? Absolutely not. I see one of those little things, I'm out. <laughs> Now, if we're talking about the zombies from The Walking Dead, I could easily take one of those on. I mean, look at them. They're small, they're weak, come fight me. So yeah, I guess it just depends on the zombie. And yes, I'm taking this very seriously. I love putting custom frames on my TVs lately, but every single time I learn a new build hack in Bloxburg, I will use it so many times until I end up hating it. Okay, now the more I thought about it, not only is this gonna be a monitor room, but it's also gonna act as a panic room as well. I hate doing security rooms, I don't know why. I've told you guys this a million times. Every single time I do a security room, it just reminds me of the creepy monkey from Toy Story. <laughs> so I know you can't really use them, but I'm putting speakers around security room. Just in case someone breaks in, like we can have an alarm that goes off. Also this wall back here, black. Because I just want it to be filled with security cameras. Hey, just in case we get trapped in the bunker, we'll have some barrels and we can fill these with like food and stuff. Okay, so I think the monitor station is done, which means we can now move on to my bedroom. Now, I know you guys are used to seeing me with a fancy bedroom in Boxburg, but um, not this room. I'm literally gonna have one single bed. Carpet, so my feet aren't cold when I wake up in the morning. Laptop here, we can watch Netflix. I have a massive desk along here. Did you guys watch the Mr. Beast video where he trapped two people in this white room together for 100 days? And if they stay in the room for 100 days, they get to keep like 500,000. I don't think I could survive like one day in that room. Okay, what are we gonna have on my desk? This needs to be like fun. Go with some geometric blocks. Oh, we can have some card games. Wait, what is this? A receiver? Is that like a little radio? I did not know Bloxburg had that. I mean, hey, if we're really, really lonely, we can just stare at the radio all day waiting for someone to call us, you know? I literally cannot with this bed. It's so ugly. I know we're living in an underground bunker, but I need to change the pillows. The woman was too stunned to speak. There, okay, just, just one fluffy pillow. That's all I need. I'm just picturing us being very lonely in this bunker. So a bunch of posters to remind us of the ones we have lost. Damn, I don't think this bedroom can get any more depressing. Actually, yes, it can. As soon as I add lights. Oh God, look at that. The Presso Expresso. I'm gonna do two things to my room. I'm also gonna make this a gym. You're trapped in a bunker. What are you gonna do? You're gonna work out. And I mean, what's more motivating than having a home gym in your underground bunker? In a mirror so you can stare at our big fat muscles. So as I'm building, let me just tell you guys a little story time. So I go on my Instagram last night. I remember telling you guys specifically, don't add me in your group chats. Right, that's my bedroom and the gym done. So now moving on to the second floor of the bunker, which includes our food and water, and of course our bathroom. You know what annoys me so much though? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is split this section up. I'm gonna have a massive walk-in fridge. Now usually I would just place down a bunch of these commercial fridges, but one, boring, two, way too expensive. Yawning. Sloppy. Picture Chris Jenner's walk-in refrigerator. That's what I want this fridge to look like. Now, obviously we're gonna need a bunch of greens in here. We can also have some musha rooms, musha rooms. People in zombie apocalypses are so stupid, by the way. I remember when lockdown happened and you know what was the first thing to go? The chips and the chocolate. I'm like, guys, get your priorities straight. I'll make that deal. Damn good deal. To make sure the food stays nice and fresh, we can have some fog machines. Okay, so we've got our refrigerator. We also need a cooking station. Sorry, there is one thing I'm not eating in a bunker, and that is beans. I do not get how people can eat beans and like it. Like beans on toast, I'm just like, oh. Disgusting! The reason this kitchen is fully grey is because I want it to be indestructible. Okay, I know we're like in a zombie apocalypse and I know we're all gonna die, but I need my coffee machine and my kitchen. Teehee. Don't judge me, okay? A girl has her needs. That's all we're gonna have though. We're not gonna have anything fancy, all right? We'll just put a few of these shelving units and fill them up with groceries. The day Bloxburg adds more groceries to the game is the day I will cry in happiness. <laughs> Tears of joy will just explode out of my face. Ooh, kitchen's nearly done. Love how spooky it looks. <laughs> that does sound kind of weird. We can have a chainsaw on the bench just in case we run out of food. Yo, speaking of that, did you guys watch The 100? I'm not gonna spoil it. If you haven't, there's a scene, right, where they have to go underground and their food supply starts running out. People start getting sick and dying. And I think you know where this goes. 
was so messed up. I was watching it. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, that is our kitchen. It's giving, it's giving preppy. What do you think? It's so preppy in here. You know what? It's a bunker kitchen, so I don't care. Okay, I figured out what I'm doing for the ominous lighting. Blue LED lights on the bottom of the wall. I just realized I put a hallway here that leads into absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, that's a bit awkward. It's fine. I can fix this. You know what we'll do? A little dining table. See, look how cute that is. We'll give them some plants to eat. Nothing screams romantic dinner like eating leaves. Okay, so that's our dining table. Next room we have is the... I kind of forgot oh, the bathroom yes i was like what's in this room again i was actually contemplating whether or not i should even have a bathroom in here but at the same time i was like you know what if you're a billionaire and you have the money to make an underground bunker why on earth would you not have a bathroom in there we are making this very basic though hope you guys didn't expect a fancy bathroom because <laughs> you're not getting one also most of the underground bunkers that i was searching up were so ugly Ew. And yes, we will be stacking up this shelving unit with toilet paper. We need to get our priorities straight, okay, people? Look at that toilet paper for days. Okay, so the bunker bathroom is complete. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it just looks like a bunker bathroom. Which means we're now into the basement side of the bunker. And I'm pretty sure this included three rooms. For example, the fancy living room, the underground pool, and of course, the generator. So a generator room is kind of just a bunch of power supplies and everything just in case the bunker runs out of energy. We need to boost up the system. However, I have no idea how to build a generator room. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know the purpose of a generator room. <laughs> it ensures reliable startup of the standby generator sets, prevents fuel oil clouding and freezing of water pipes, including the sprinkler system and allows for environmental conditions that blah 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 blah. Um, okay. Do I know what a generator room is? No. Am I going to build the best one in Bloxburg? Absolutely. All right, look, th this can't be too hard. You just put basic shapes, some lights, and then more lights. You know what I just realized for this generator room? I can literally just put a power box and that's it. Like a power box does the job. It turns off everything in the bunker and it turns on everything in the bunker. That's all we need. I don't know why I'm overcomplicating this. Maybe because it's- I'm so fancy. I don't know why we would need random boxes, but I'm adding random boxes as well as some toolboxes just in case we've got to I don't know power up the air vents air pump why would we need an air pump I'm adding one. Oh, I kind of forgot these existed. We can have a few of these ductwork vents. Makes me feel like a professional builder when I add these in. Okay, well, with that done, I think that's the generator room all complete. I definitely knew what I was building, guys, I promise. So now the two last rooms we have is, of course, the pool room and then a fancy living room because, I mean, let's be honest, the rest of this bunker is pretty disgusting to look at. So if you want to forget all that, you can come downstairs to our fancy living room. The reason I'm doing this is because when I was researching bunkers, I seen this really cool underground basement style living room and I thought it was so cool so I'm like I have to add that and the good thing is Luxburg just recently added mid-century furniture I haven't actually tried out yet so this is kind of the perfect room to do it I feel like these living quarters give off a mid-century feel to it and then like some skulls on the walls so it's like don't mess with me punk and last but not least a chandelier now you're probably wondering where does the pool room come into this we're gonna have massive windows all right you guys ready for this shallow pool the massive chandelier above it and boom our pool room is complete which means the bunker is finally finished and comes to a total of $187,000. Oh my lord. Okay, now to get up into the bunker, it's a little bit of a trek. We have to climb up a mountain and then up this hill and then we're up the top here. As you can see, it's very spooky, but if we open up these doors... Oh, that looks so ominous. Uh, kind of just have to go. And then we are on the first floor of the bunker. So you have to go through like two security doors. And then we are in the research and infirmary room. I really like the way this room turned out. This room makes me feel like evil and I have a science class. Like literally tell me I don't look like him right now. And then over to the right here. So we've got the TVs here. And then if we sit in our little chair right here, we can view all the security cameras. <laughs> Why did I choose the most demonic terrifying security camera decals like what what is that gosh i'm gonna have nightmares but anyway this is where we can obviously view all the security cameras gosh it's me so yeah pretty fun and then all the way on the opposite end we have my bedroom hey girl welcome to my crib slash gym i have no idea so yeah this is where i sleep and then once i'm awake even though i don't really know what time it is i'll go over here listen to the radio a little bit you already know who it is it's your boy 
and then we can go for a little 3 a.m. gym sesh in my bedroom. So on the second floor, it leads straight into the kitchen and the dining room. So we have all of our food supplies in this little kitchen here. Just make sure you don't get locked in or you will freeze to death. <laughs> and then this is where I sit and eat by myself. Okay, anyway, moving on. We then have my bathroom, which, oh my gosh, I may have forgot to add a roof, whoopsie. Guys, uh, contamination in the bunker, contamination. So yeah, it's a pretty basic bathroom, but I mean, it does the job. Then we have the third and final story of the bunker, which includes the very confusing generator room. Not gonna lie, I had no idea what I was doing in here. <laughs> and then we have my personal favorite room, which is of course the living room and the pool room. Cause I mean, look at this. It doesn't even feel like a bunker. This feels like I'm going for a nice little late night swim if you will. Yeah, that is my little underground bunker. I'm actually kind of impressed with the way this turned out. I know how so many of you guys loved my underground house, but honestly, I think this looks way cooler just because it has like so many layers to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!